I'm Kyle Tate for RamblinRec.com. We're joined by redshirt sophomore Mikhail Chambers. And Mikhail, you're a jumper, a high jumper specifically. A couple of weeks ago, you had a chance to, to show off your skills in a preseason meetup at Clemson in the Winter Classic. Just talk about that Winter Classic and how you felt about how you did, how the team did, and uh, just getting back in shape for the season. Um, the Winter Classic is always a meet to be worried about just because it's the first meet to really test your abilities after a long, hard fall of practice. But um, I'm really happy with my performance. Uh, it's the best performance I've ever had indoors. And the whole team as a, you know, as a whole, they all performed as a really good unit. Everyone got a new personal best or tied their new personal best. Um, I really couldn't be happier. Now the, the real season starts. You guys from here on out pretty much have a, a meet every single weekend through mid to late June. So what's it like for, for a track athlete to, to go through this grind for six and a half months? Um, track always takes a toll on your body, and, you know, you really have to be mentally prepared for it, and your body, ha your body has to be physically prepared for it. But, um, you know, we wouldn't be here if we didn't like what we do. And, you know, that's all I can really say. What's a typical fall like for you? You know, it's, it's a long semester for you guys going through classes and whatnot. How do you stay in shape and, and get ready for this spring season? You know, people always uh, worry about us during the season because we're always constantly competing and always testing our bodies. But uh, the fall is always the hardest thing for us because, you know, when we're not in season, it's the best time to really give us the heavier weights, you know, the long distance runs, the plyometrics, all the hard drills. So falls are really tough and intense for us, especially with our class loads. Um, during the season, you know, we can't take as many classes because we're always on the road. But during the fall, we're taking more classes and we're having more hours in practice. So it's, you know, it's really hard. And for you personally, I mentioned at the start of the interview that you're a redshirt sophomore. You redshirted last year. How difficult was it for you to stay in shape knowing that you'd be coming back this year? Um, last year was more of a test of me mentally and my patience uh, because I was still out here training every day. But sometimes, you know, it does get a little annoying. You know, you don't really get to get rewarded or get to really test your ability all the time. But uh, I was out here every day doing what I needed to do to prepare for this season. And I did get to compete in a couple meets unattached. But, it's you know, it's not the same as traveling with the team and competing with the team. Now this weekend you head up to Clemson once again. This time it's for real, though. It's a, a legitimate meet up at, up at Clemson, the Clemson Invitational. Talk about what you expect from, uh, from that Invitational. Um, I expect this to be a little rusty coming off of the break, but, you know, we came back here a week early to get back in the preparation for it. So I think everyone will probably get back into gear, you know, after a couple jumps, you know, maybe midway through their races. But this week should be a good proving ground for us, and I expect great things to come. All right, that's Mikhail Chambers, redshirt sophomore jumper here on RamblinRec.com. Thanks so much, Mikhail. No problem. Until next time, I'm Kyle Tate.